Dwight Bain here with a parenting strategy to be able to help you with your kids if they're elementary aged or, or middle school aged. Tell you what, I want you to focus on helping them with some basics. Help them with self-esteem at that stage. Really pay attention before they hit the tween age years. You know, tween ages, 11, 12, before they get to that stage of middle school. Building that self-esteem, building study skills, building self-discipline, being able to sit still, being able to focus. If you can build some foundational social skills, some self-esteem skills in those elementary school years, we do that sometimes by being able to take them to camps, being able to create after-school experiences, pushing a little bit to say, you know, let's get out of our comfort zone. Let's try Little League. Let's try soccer. Let's try maybe elementary school band. When you try those things at a young age, and, and there will be tears, there will be tears. And, and, and we're not going to die on that mountain. If they say, I just hate soccer, let's try it for a little bit. Let's try swimming lessons for a little bit. Let's try different things because here's what happens. If we can do that before they're about 11 or 12 years old, they've now got a little bit more strength in their peer group when they hit middle school. And those are the toughest years. Those are the challenging years. If I'm keeping them on track in those middle school years, now I can work on self-confidence. Now I can build on the foundation that we laid in elementary school. Sometimes parents will say, I'm not going to push my child. I'm just going to let them hang out. We're not going to do anything. We're not going to have any rules. I don't want anybody to say anything to hurt their feelings, you know, because they're just 10 years old. If you don't push a little bit toward building strength before they hit middle school, before they hit high school, they will collapse in middle school and high school. But if you've laid that foundation, now you can build self-confidence. And here's the principle. Here's the parenting strategy. Here's what I want you to do. You build self-confidence by doing, not by talking. You build self-confidence by doing, being able to move forward and say, let's try this, let's try this, let's try this, and letting them know, we're going to try it for two weeks. If you don't like it, we're going to talk about it. Being able to set our kids up for greatness, setting them up for strength involves pushing, experimenting, trying, talking. What it doesn't involve is to sit home quietly in the corner. I know that sometimes kids get scared. I'm sensitive to that, but I want you to know, if you're not building a foundation at a younger age, you'll end up with somebody who's insecure and afraid to try at a later age, and you won't like those results at all. Now, if they are older, maybe 17, 18, 20, 22, and they're insecure, they lack self-confidence, they're afraid, they're behind the eight ball, but it's okay. I want you to know you can do the same thing. Let's build a foundation of some early experiences to build self-esteem, to build social skills through new experiences, and to push a little bit. You, you may need to get a coach. You may need to get a counselor. You may need to create some experiences at, at a church, at a youth group, maybe being able to plug into some community events. But whether they're 18 or 8, as a parent, they need you to step up the game. They need you to ask tough questions. They need you to say, let's keep pushing forward so they can be the young man, the young woman that God designed them to be. Don't be afraid to push. Don't be afraid to expect excellence. If you need more parenting resources, visit our website, lifeworksgroup.org. That's lifeworksgroup.org. Hundreds of resources to help you, but I want you to know, a parent, listen to me, a parent is not a pal. A parent is not a buddy. A parent is not somebody to go and, you know, kind of like have a cappuccino and hang out with. A parent is there to push and to guide and to equip and to encourage, to invest, so that a young man or a young woman becomes a strong man instead of just a young man, becomes a strong woman instead of just a young one. And that happens when parenting occurs. So don't be a pal, be a parent, and check out our website.